Many soldiers like to work out, but few of them do it six and a half thousand feet above sea level. This is OP-1, a lookout post four kilometers from the Pakistan border. Facilities are basic, there's no running water, but for some of its inhabitants, it's a hotel. OP-1, it's, uh, for us, it's like, a, uh, it's like a vacation, you know, uh, you kind of get away from the flagpole, um, which means you get away from all the higher ups, you know. The main thing is every day, you know, you resupply anything that you want up here, you have to carry it by yourself. It's nice to be secluded, you know, it gives you time to think, watch movies that you haven't watched. It's kind of rejuvenating. Those who own the high ground tend to dominate. OP-1 has taken fire just once since 172nd arrived in July. If you were the enemy and you had this large thing overlooking, you know, in every direction, it's, you would have to be a little bit, a little bit crazy to try and attack it. So they, they tend to not, to not try and do a direct attack on us here. They'll, they'll use indirect fires. Damn. Indirect fire often comes in the form of rockets targeted at the base below, Fob Tillman, though that's not the only action these soldiers see. There is nights, I can say, where you'll see ticks going on, you know, firefights, and there's no American out there, and there's no A&A or any of our assets out there, so it's got to be, it's got to be them fighting amongst themselves or just doing their Taliban duties, I guess, out there and doing whatever it is they do to the local nationals. The highlight of the week is when a C-17 aircraft does a flyover to resupply the troops with goods such as food and water. That's a pretty good drop, really. Not all of these soldiers join the army as infantry men. Some have a MOS or military occupational speciality. The brigade's using them to fill the gaps in the frontline units. Specialist Cruz is a Bradley tank mechanic. I felt uh, like you've been betrayed. You know, you enlisted to do one job, and you know the army needed you to do another, but. And the end of the day, uh, I still, I joined, you know, I enlisted to do what the Army needed me to do. And there's been times where other guys that joined the Army for this MOS, you know, they're sucking and they're, or they're falling out or they're doing something, you know. And us guys that kind of adopted this MOS, we're excelling more than them. Living at OP1, the soldiers have to get used to four-legged local residents, whether they like it or not. I'm kind of deathly afraid of, like, almost anything. Uh, bugs, insects, bulls, horses, elephants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just don't like them. Sergeant Sanders says he'd rather take on the Taliban than a camel spider any day. On OP1, however, he's much more likely to meet the latter. Mel Preen in Paktika, Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.